Hi there, this is Jennifer with Lemongrass Spa Products and I'd like to do a review for you today of some of our Sheer Minerals makeup. In particular, our Sheer Minerals, um, sorry, <laughs> Oatmeal Light Powder Foundation. So I've been using the powder foundations for quite a while now. I recently did start using the liquid foundation on some of my face as well. Um, you can find that review on my YouTube channel pretty soon. Um, so I have that on already in our color called Buff, um, but I don't love it for the areas that I'm highlighting. So under my eyes, maybe a little bit on the nose, mostly the eye area. I don't like it when it's the same color as the rest of my skin. Um, so I use the Oatmeal Light color, and I'm also gonna use it with, um, this is our foundation concealing brush. Um, it has a sustainable bamboo handle and they're made cruelty free. So you can feel good about using those along with our products. And this is technically an eyeshadow brush, but I like this for um, more detail areas as I go into the eye and, and applying that as well. So, But this I feel like gives a softer look underneath the eyes and helps me to, to blend it as well. Um, and I'm so, just gonna go in. Now I don't just put it right on the under eye because you're basically then just highlighting that that area I you can tell probably even on the screen I do have kind of a little sagginess there I'm over 40 <laughs> so um, that's not as tight as it used to be and I don't really want to highlight that fact now I don't want to put a whole bunch of really thick concealer under there I know I could go to a makeup store the drugstore and get makeup at those different places that, that maybe would do more to, to disguise that. Um, but that's, that's really, that's a trade-off that I'm willing to be okay with. I'm okay if people see that I'm not 20 anymore. <laughs> um, as long, you know, I just feel like this adds a little bit of polish, makes me feel a little bit better. I'm not looking to hide everything. Although I will say I do feel like it looks good. You know, so I haven't done this eye yet. Um, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hide everything. I will say that I am frequently mistaken for a good 10 years younger than what I am. Um, and I believe that that's due to taking really good care of my skin with the Lemongrass Spa products. Um, before I put this round of makeup on, I did exfoliator, I did a mask, I added some vitamin C serum, some facial hydrating mist, um, and a moisturizer, let that all sink in, and then I applied a primer. Primer, primer, primer. <laughs> it's a really good thing to make sure that your makeup stays, that it doesn't oxidize as fast. Um, I'm gonna switch now. I feel good about where that's at. I usually do my makeup back over there, <laughs> um, but my camera won't, won't reach. Now, I'm gotta pull the skin just a little bit not so much that you're causing more damage than it's worth but I just really want to get in and um, really I'm just kind of trying to hide the redness at this point um, with with this product but I do have to smooth out some of that skin a little bit and I just make sure I go all the way up to the brow bone I'm going all the way around the eye so I can have a nice fresh canvas to start with. I'm um, just making sure I get in all of those spots. And then as far as the highlighter, I will go in a little bit over the top of my eyebrow. Kind of helps define that area a little bit. Um, softens all those edges so that you can get a real nice eyebrow put on. I over tweezed in the 90s and it's not growing back <laughs> except for very sparsely so that's the main area that I have to take care of with my eyebrows uh, and then a couple of little other highlight areas just to kind of make different uh, parts of your face stand out it's hard to put on makeup and talk at the same time apparently <laughs> um, and then I will do a little just kind of get it on the tip a little bit there and contour that nose area a little bit a 
and you can see it goes on really well. There's not a lot of fallout. Um, when I use the Kabuki brush and and um, circulate that all over all my face, there's a little bit more fallout. Um, but it's with it being a loose powder the way it is, I'm, I'm not super surprised about that. But um, when I'm putting it on just with these smaller brushes, um, there doesn't tend to be that much. So that is our powder foundation. We also have powder cover-up and we have powder veils. I think we have a matte veil that just goes on translucent and we have a pink veil and um, two different kinds of cover-up along with lots of different colors of the foundation. So I hope that helps as you're looking for natural makeup to, to be using and chuck the rest of them. <laughs>